motherfuckers. If uh, you like purple, this might be the video that you like to watch. If you like me, this might be the video you like to watch. If you like awkward silences and pauses, it's the video you would like to watch. Wanna know how I got this look? Come on down. Price is right. For you to come and see this. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be using my normal every fucking makeup look primer and go in with that hydro grip by milk. And I am going to be using Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation in the shade I use too much. Just kidding. Um, 320. Um, in today's video, I will be answering some questions. <laughs> I definitely used way too much. Um, but I'll be answering questions from all my peoples, all these, all oh, mother's child. Do you see what I did there? Mother's child. That's what I'm gonna call y'all. Okay, I'm going to use my Anastasia um, Cream Contour Kit. Get my big ass full head. And I'm contouring to make my fat ass neck a little lifted, like a face lift. Now I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, uh, foundation stick in the shade Banana. As I blend my shit out, I will answer these questions. Um, first question is, can you talk about being a parent of four and how it impacts your life as a makeup artist? Well, to be frank, it impacts it a lot. Um, I really just gotta make time for it. It's not like something I could pursue full time because like, ain't nobody got money for daycare and shit and it's just a lot of money, and the whole reason that I even got started to begin with is just because I was in a really bad position like a few years ago, and there's nothing I could do, and I was tired of people saying that all I was ever going to do is just sit on my ass and have kids, <laughs> and um, I decided to practice doing makeup, and I was like, yo, I see people doing it on here, if I could just get better, and I could work at it. Back then I only had two kids, and my middle child was like an infant. So I was like, I need to make money, I need to find a way to support myself because the situation I was in was really shitty and an abusive one, so I couldn't really do much. But once I started getting a hold of how to 
kind of do makeup proper maybe and I was like okay maybe I can do this as a job maybe one day after my children have grown enough to go to school and it didn't really necessarily work out like that like I've had a few weddings like every now and then and it was just not what I wanted to do because I don't like weddings at all <laughs> and um I don't know yeah I just it was persistence and the need for money that was basically how I got started and my reason for continuing is just because like I fucking like it and I'm really good at it all of a sudden and like practice makes perfect and shit and I'm not trying to be perfect but my practice and techniques and shit have really um improved like even looking at something I did last year kind of shocked me I was like oh wow I did actually grow like things are changing here which I was um really appreciative of I I'm proud of myself for not giving up because I usually like there's a, like a voice in my head that tells me I'm really shitty at everything that I do and it's just good to know that as much time as I put into this like the 2 a.m. nights where I just got done breastfeeding Sienna and I was like well I'm up anyways might as well practice it it was like it was some serious time and effort put into it and I'm glad that I kept doing it it's become a passion it wasn't a passion before it was a necessity but like definitely a passion now. Uh, the next question is, if you weren't a makeup artist, what would you be instead? Um, if I could pursue everything that I wanted to without anything holding me back or like anything putting it on stall until like a few years from now, I would be a restaurateur. <laughs> uh, I want to make my own restaurant. Like I want to have a soul food type of like restaurant like soul food bistro if that makes sense I used to be obsessed with cooking when I was a kid and like I'm good when I have the ingredients and what I when I'm inspired to make what I want to make um yeah I just couldn't my last year of high school I got pregnant with Sophia I mean my last semester of high school I got pregnant with Sophia and um my boyfriend then was also holding me back and I was not really confident in who I was as a person so I listened to anything that anybody told me and um yeah I didn't finish what I was actually going to school for so it kind of sucks but here we are so it doesn't things happen the way they're supposed to and I'm a firm believer in it so cooking I would be making your ass some food I'd be making a YouTube channel in the kitchen whipping 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 and yeah that's about it I, I'd probably be doing that. I want to have like my own place though, because I don't I don't listen well to people, <laughs> and I don't I don't like listening. And uh, yeah, I like to do what I want. So that's the kind of restaurant that I'd have. What am I teaching my kids about the non-binary and you not buying into it? Me not buying into it? Um, well. Sophia's had some questions and stuff. She's really like, she's been exposed to drag queens from a young age, so she knows that like there's not just a particular whole look to people. And as she's getting older, she's starting to like ask me questions about it and stuff, and like ask what lesbians or gay people means or things like that. And I just explain it to her what it is. It's just Christian society conditioned to think one and the other but there's been historically a uh, mass between there's more than just hot and cold there's warm right so there's like other things okay since we're getting close and personal i thought we would get close and personal yeah understand um i like that question um what do i think our best chance of overturning the system is I gotta try and think of a way to say this without getting my channel taken down. <laughs> um, I think our best chance of overturning the system is, um... Big Brother needs you to make your nomination. Oh, you need me to? This is probably not a valid reason, but... Subtract the elite and... Um, and I like this process. Do I think it's gonna stay this way? Absolutely not. 
how do I say that? Um, it would be to, uh, yeah, just subtract the elite, if you understand what I'm insinuating here. No, 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 I can't. Make them pay only taxes or, you know, put, or put black women in charge. But, like, they're always made to clean up messes anyway, so kind of not that either. But, like, definitely no old white men. None. Cut them out. Put them in the bin, mate. I'm gonna put a little bit more concealer underneath my eye as we look around for more questions. Um, uh, the rise in human trafficking. Okay, um, I used to be best friends with a girl that I had recently found out was a victim of human trafficking here in Windsor. Ooh, my lace is popping out. Um, here in Windsor, and she, we, me and her were friends for years, um, yeah, I'm just like, I think that the head of it has to be people who are in elite positions or have positions of power, um, government people, I think it's me, myself, all conspiracy up, believe like if you've never seen the family on netflix i suggest you watch it because like i've been thinking that shit for a long time even before there's been like a, a huge outbreak in human trafficking like i just honestly believe that they are behind running it it's a huge multi-billion dollar business that they have when has the government not been involved in multi-billion dollar businesses especially the american government so i think that's a huge thing um more quote unquote exotic are are being taken more than anybody else which means like black latinx filipino any anything of color and i think that's why the organ harvesting is happening it's because you know like been proven throughout history black bodies have always been a uh, business to white people i didn't make the truth I just said it. Uh, yeah. And if you don't know, now you know, nigga. You gonna call two of them up? More about the sex trafficking, uh, she was in the Windsor Star and I was just like shocked, like she has a guy who was kind of pimping her out through one of the strip clubs here and one thing led to another and she was kidnapped and like the guy's getting charged now in my city, thank god, and I just like, I feel bad that I can't reach out to her and just say, girl, I'm so sorry like what the fuck like we used to be really close and like after losing touch with her i guess the shit happened and i hear in the states it's really bad in atlanta basically places where you find a lot of black people it's thriving and it's kind of scary not kind of it's like completely scary i'm fine i'm gonna bake underneath my eyeballs <laughs> forgot to tell ya. Um, I'm using uh, Milani's Make It Last setting powder. I'm not sure what I want to do with my eyes. I'm like wearing like a nice little 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 shirt, nice little top. Yeah. So um, those are all the questions I received because y'all don't know how to fucking listen. And I said ask more questions. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna use this Jackie Anna palette because ooh, it's beautiful. <laughs> get my body, get my body, want my body, get my body, get my body.
Okay, um, I'm gonna use Supreme. Oh, look at that. Oh, my lovely, beautiful transition. I haven't actually used any of the pink or the purple in this palette, which is strange and shocking, because, like, I used to use pink and purple all the time, but, like, I don't now. So. So, yeah. I think this is better luck. I mean, like, I'm supportive, but we're gonna have this. We just stop picking the right I'm gonna grab some. <laughs> I'm going to use pinker and just deepen it. Make that shit real nice and deep. a lot right there but don't worry fam we gonna blend it out blend it blend it blend it out that's when you know one know Since we're getting personal in this video, I guess I'm going to talk about me. Um, I, uh, I'm turning 28. Did I just... Okay, no, I didn't. Um, I'm turning 28 this year. I mean, well, technically, it's 2020, but my birthday's in January, so I'm saying it's this year, because the year starts when I do. Even though I'm non-binary, I refer to myself as a mom of four. Why? Because I fucking said so. Um, my pronouns are they them, since half of you still call me her and she, and I'm gonna put Zyam on my eyelash. So cute. What do I want to get out of this? Ultimately, when I do makeup, I want to be that person that all the black stars come to when they come to my city. If I'm still in my city, making money here. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go big, bro. I wanna like, you know, do some serious shit and essentially building a base for my babies to take over because they both like doing makeup too. I'm just going in with big wig. I mean, my bad. I'm a fucking liar. I'm going in with pinker again underneath my arm just to, you know, bring me to life. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You're making me crazy. Um, right now, I am taking Shickington and I'm rubbing that bitch right around Zam and I'm going to top it off with Zam again in a second after I just, you know, blend her and make sure everybody's getting along nicely on here. So yeah, I hope that my children will understand these three things in life. You can be anything you want to be. I'm going to love you no matter what, and um, be loud and take space. Okay, those are four things. I don't understand why parents get mad at their kids for being like difficult and stuff. Not even difficult, just having opinions. Like, don't get mad at your kids for having opinions, that's what you're raising them to do. You don't want people walking all over your kids. It's not it's not what we're doing. That's not our job. Our job is to make sure that strong adults in the future. People who don't need to recover from their childhood and things like that. 
so listen to your goddamn kids. Now I'm going to blend out my powder. And I'm going to do my little trick when you never share. Are you going to have like fallout or whatever? Or are you going to just mix your shadow in with underneath your eye? Rebake. Don't let it sit. Just rebake a little bit. Right underneath your eyeball. Keep it clean. And then get your dusting powder brush. And blend inwards. What it is, you don't want any tacky or sticky face. <laughs> you don't want any sticky face. Um, you don't want any tacky or a sticky face. Blend into the parts where you didn't bake. Do you feels? So yeah, um, a little bit more about myself. Um, I'm full of movie references. I have no actual life. My makeup is my me time. If you see me do my makeup, it's probably because when my kids are asleep or they're not around. Um, have I always wanted to be a parent? No, I haven't. But once I became one, that was my life and I loved it. It's what I wanted to excel at. So I put my back into it and ended up having a whole gang of them. Right now, I am going to start bronzing my face with Sunny Honey from a uh, Too Faced Natural Face Palette. And I fucking love it. Ooh, that shit's so cute! It's cute, cute! It just gives you so much life here. Coco, my dog just came running in here like she fucking robbed a bank or some shit. Ooh, you know what I hate about these $20 wigs, Simon? Hair's all up in my face. But at the same time, it's flowy, and it doesn't look like it's 20 bucks, does it? Um, also, when people see me talk about, like, Lizzo's makeup and stuff, don't take it as shade. It's just genuine frustration, because, like, when I was on that shade room, all I wanted was for her to, on that shade room shit, all I wanted her to was to just, you know like it or comment but everybody was being so fucking rude i don't think that's i think that's why she just left it um yeah but like you don't i don't want to be put down i mean i don't want her to be put down like at the cost of oh yeah she's cuter but the other one's cuter i don't like that that's small dick behavior and we don't want no small thing like black black af is that what the kids call it? Um, but yeah, no, it's just cause like it's genuine frustration, like I really wanted to be that person for her if she ever came around these neck of the woods, but um, the way y'all set me up, I'll be surprised if anybody wants to work with me. <laughs> just kidding. But, for real though, don't be, don't be, don't listen me up at the cost of bringing somebody else down. She did nothing but be her wonderful self and positive and nice and try to be herself and still function in the industry and stuff. I don't want that shit. I don't want her thinking like I'm into that. I'm not into that. At all. Okay, now I am going to use the Too Faced Natural Palette again for blush, and I am using the Pink Wink. And for a highlight, um, shit, why not? I'll go for color. Um, Starlight from the I Natural Eye and Face palette or whatever the fuck it's called. Thank you. Thank you. Ha ha ha!
my cheeks is shining. <clears throat> okay, I am using Mellow's. See, you just made me say the wrong word. Mellow's tinted brow gel in the shade um, something like black. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, oh no. Ooh, Chad, I need to do my eyebrows. If you're wondering who that is, that's my baby. Okay, um, don't say shit about what eyeliner I'm using. I'm gonna try and cover it up as best as I can. And I'm just doing, uh, some, some of these kind of brows, you know? It was a gift. Wow, I never had these kind of eyebrows before. Let me know how you feel about them in the comments, bushy or no bush! <laughs> I'm going to use my Hank and Henry liner. Okay, I'm gonna be using my Hank and Henry liner um, in Bluey Black. Bluey Black. I just looked at it for like 10 minutes to try and remember it. Uh, I'm using, oh boy, I'm using Hollywood and Vine's uh, Coal Crown Pour Les Yeux. Maybe that was just the French side I was reading. Who knows? Oh, I'm using the color purple, if you could not tell the color purple. Keep my sister away from me, my kid, da, da. You ever watch some movies, babe? It's a shitty liner. I can give you that. It's really shitty. Um, I'm pretty sure this was in a boxy charm box, so it's like shitty for the price of... It's not smooth, it doesn't show up color good or easily, easily, easily. Right now, um, I'm using Tardis Lip Paint in the color Acid Wash. Okay, okay so here's the finished look. Um, I hope you like it. Tell me if you like the bushy brows. Tell me if you don't like and subscribe. Share the shit with your friends. Put the soap between your ass cheeks when you wash them. Have a good day. Goodbye. Okay,